By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Yes, and welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And we have some nice tunes today in the studio. And we are going to open booster packs. Well, actually, I'm saying we, I am fortunate enough to go and open these booster packs. I'm opening six boosters of Fallen Empires. And I'm opening a booster pack of The Dark. So in The Dark, I'm really hoping to pull a Preacher. You can see that here on the screen. It's such a beautiful card by Quentin Hoover. And I actually own zero. So it would be fantastic if I could open one today and in fallen empires there are actually a lot of cards that i'd like to have but i think my favorite one would be hand of justice um when i started playing hand of justice was one of the first cards that i kind of made a combo with i believe it was Ecation town and hand of justice that was just in my mind that was the bomb if you could assemble those two pieces you've won the game because you could just kill any creature on the spot right then and there okay so that's basically it i'm gonna open a lot of boosters today and this is actually part of a seal event uh, where I will be battling battling against one of my patrons but that's a whole different story and a whole different episode for now we are going to open these booster packs enjoy and we are ready to open up some old school booster packs and I'm gonna start with fallen empires and a fallen empire booster pack contains eight cards six of them common two of them uncommon and what's interesting to note here is that they're um, divided into different levels so the uncommon is uh, level is divided in uncommon one uncommon two and uncommon three so uncommon one is just as rare as an actual rare if you can still follow what i'm saying here so opening my first booster here let's see what the first common is we've got ecation scout with that first strike ability and up to the next one here order of light Burr, very good pull this sees a lot of play in old school there we've got hammerate warrior and this can give itself Shroud, one of the first creatures that could do that. Goblin Wardrums, talking about first, has that um, Menace mechanic. And Spore Cloud, a Fog with an uptick. And there we see the Ecation Javelineers. Actually a very strong card in this format. So very good card. S uh, Soul Exchange, when I see Soul Exchange, first uncommon of the pack, by the way, I have to think about Breeding Pit. And the last one, Feral's Mantle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pharaoh's Mantle is one of those cards you have to read a few times before you get what it does. It is a weird kind of removal. And interesting to note here is that Fallen Empire doesn't have any enchantment removal. So if you put your enchant creature on your creature, it's there to stay. You don't have to worry. So that makes Pharaoh's Mantle slightly better. But it's not, it's not the uncommon or rare that you hope for. My second booster pack here, and we see the first uncommon is a Spawning Bad, I believe. Hummer at Spawning Bad. And there's the first common, a Hummerit. Okay, maybe we'll get a Hummerit pack here. Oh, Ecation Infantry. Beautiful art by Christopher Rush. And the next one here, Mercine. And Armor Thrall is not as bad as you think. The plus one, plus two counter is pretty big. Orcish Veteran here. And Thalit, useful little creature. It can make little Soprolings. And there's that first uncommon, Hummerit Spawning Bed. And will we draw a Hand of Justice? Hey, it's the Zeleon Sword. Actually, this is an uncommon one. It's considered a rare. Uh, you don't pull a lot of these. And the nice thing is it kind of works like an equipment. So you can tap it to give target creature plus 3, plus 0, I believe. And if you keep it tapped, the bonus stays on the creature. And the nice thing here is that you can use that as um, at instant speed. So it's kind of like an equipment, but actually slightly better because of that instant speed. Okay, so booster pack number three, I seem to be struggling a little because I'm trying to open these packs as neatly as possible. Not very successful with this one. And there we go. So what are we gonna pull? I'm still hoping for some kind of bomb, like I need a big creature. Let's see. And Ecation Infantry, that recognizable art by Drew Tucker. This card's actually very handy with the ability to give it banding and first strike. Banding is a big deal in, in Fallen Empires. Spore Cloud, number two, I believe. And there we have a Vodalian soldier. In the story, they're battling against the Hummerids. And there we've got a Brass Claw Orcs working together with the Goblins, battling against the Dwarves. Another Hummerid warrior, number two, I believe, with the Shroud ability. 
And this is actually a pretty good card to Thorn Tally because it is removal and you don't have a lot of removal options in old school uh, Fallen Empires. Dwarven Lieutenant, kind of the Red Pump Knight. And the next one, a Feral Thalit. So there I have my big bomb, you could say. It's kind of like the force of nature of Fallen Empires. Obviously, the creature doesn't see a lot of play, but I think if I would have to make a build out of these booster packs, um, the Feral Thalit is definitely going to be uh, a contender to be in my final deck. So opening up booster pack number four. And you might wonder why there are no prices with the cards. The simple reason for that is this is just purely an opening for fun. There's very little value in Fallen Empire. There are a few cards that have some value, but you really open this for the nostalgia and just for the fun um, playing with them. Now let's see. Let's see what my first common pull is here. Another Amorite Warrior. Okay, that's number three. I mean, it's not a very good card. There we see a Mind Step Thrall with that discard mechanic. Pretty interesting. And again, another Spore Cloud. Okay, number three as well, I believe. This one I'd like a lot more of. Acacian Javelineers, number two. And a Thalit, also my second Thalit. Very useful creature. And an Orcish Veteran. A 2-2 that you can get first strike. And the first uncommon is actually the Dwarven Holt. And Dwarven Holt is also an uncommon one, so that is considered a rare. And the last one, Heroism. I'm not very excited about Heroism, because it's in, in my book, it's pretty unplayable. Let me know what you think. And I already have a lot of Heroisms. I think I've got six already, so. Okay, opening up my next booster pack of Fallen Empire. Booster pack number, is this number four or number five already? believe it's number five already. Wow. Let's see. And there's a Voldalian Soldier. A Basil Thrall with that little Dark Ritual mechanic. And <laughs> Goblin Surgeon. I love the art on Goblin Surgeon. It's just so funny. Uh, okay, there we've got Brass Claw Orcs. Next up is the e Combat Medic. And we've got Tidal Flats. And Deep Spawn. Wow, this is a bad boy, definitely. But is it playable? Ah, oh, well, of course it's playable. Why not? You see this in Reanimator decks. Uh, it's pretty cool. But it's a tough casting cost, and it's it's tough to, to attack with it. Uh, Hollow Trees. Another, another card that's considered uncommon once. It's actually considered a rare in Fallen Empire. Um, I've always kind of wondered why there aren't a lot of people playing with those lands, because they have the ability to give you double mana, so you can kind of ramp up the next turn. Obviously, they come into play tap. Let me know what you think about those lands. I mean, they, they're kind of useful, aren't they? Uh, let's see, okay, so we have an, another Ecation Infantry. We've got a Mercene. We've got another Ecation Infantry. Okay, this is actually pretty nice. White Weenie is definitely a possibility with these uh, pools. We've got an Elfin Fortress. Goblin War Drums. Okay, I mean, that's my second one. Goblin War Drums has potential. Brass Claw Orcs. And... Vodalian War Machine. And last one up is Heroism. Another Heroism? Really? Another Heroism? Wow. Okay, so these were the six booster packs and uh, we are about to open the Dark Booster. And now let's get ready for the exciting stuff, the really exciting stuff. Opening a booster pack of the Dark. I mean, this is so nostalgic. And we're just looking at the pack here. I mean, I don't open booster packs like this every day. I hardly ever do, actually. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've ever opened a booster pack of the dark and if so what would you what did you pull and if you would open a booster pack today what would you like to pull would it maybe be a blood moon or i mean a maze of if that would be great preacher of course like i mentioned at the start of this video but let's just see what we're going to pull the last two cards of this booster pack or the uncommon card. So we're first gonna start with the commons. And I believe I want it to be sure 
So I was checking it for myself to see what goes where. I'm believing, yeah, I need to put those back at the front. Those are the commons. The uncommons are the last two cards of the pack. There we've got Riptide, beautiful art, very useless card. Let's continue. Goblin Rock Sled. It's, I mean, if you're playing with four Blood Moons, maybe it could work. Marsh Gas. It's a combat trick at least, just for one black, minus two, minus oh. Oh, this is a beautiful card, iconic card here. Giant Shark, 4-4 four, four creature with a lot of text on it. And I'm also showing my deep spawn, so I've got the creatures of the sea kind of living the dream here. And playing a festival, interesting card. Opponents may not declare an attack during their turn. And there we have Carnivorous Plant. Pretty strong wool for four mana, you get a 4-5. And what's next? And there we go, the first uncommon here. Electric Eel for one blue, it's a 1-1. One, one. Not the best. And bam, Blood of the Martyr. Okay, okay, beautiful art by Christopher Rush, but it's not a very playable card. So that was it. That was me opening some really nice booster packs. Six booster packs of Fallen Empires and a booster pack of the Dark. And I don't know if you know this, but the problem is as soon as I've opened one pack, I just want to open another one. You know, it's very addictive and it's such a nostalgic trip. Uh, I would like to uh, give a special thank you to Yoop. Uh, Yoop, you're my brother and you're also supporting my channel and you're even supporting me with this episode, giving me these beautiful booster packs to open up. Um, we're about to have a little battle against each other because this is actually part of a little sealed mini tournament. I'm going to make a deck out of all these cards and my brother Yuppie is going to open the same amount of cards and he's going to make a deck out of that. Um, I will probably uh, put that opening on this channel as well. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that opening, if you enjoy these openings by the way and if you'd like to see more. Um, I'm not really planning to become this uh, booster opening channel. I think you have so many of them already and, and it's great, but it's not really, really my thing. Um, if you'd like to see those games, by the way, because I have recorded them, uh, you can let me know. Just leave a comment, send me a message. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram. That's Timmy underscore MTG. Send me a message on Instagram. Uh, it's all good, you know, but I'd love to hear from you. And if you say, I really uh, would love to see what deck you've made out of this pile of cards and how it actually did battling against another deck. Let me know, shoot me a message and uh, I'll see if I can put that on the channel. Uh, for now, thank you for watching this episode. If you want to support the channel, you can do that by leaving a like, leaving, leaving a comment, subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. Um, what else can we do? Click that notification bell. If you're not using um, any ad blockers, I really appreciate that because then at least there's some ad revenue coming in. Um, and talking about income, you can also support this channel financially now by going to my Patreon page. There's probably a link popping up right now. Click on that, become a Patreon, a patron of the show. I really appreciate that as well. Talking about the patrons, let's go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee!